Anna, had seemed distant. Anna was supposed to be her maid of honor, the one by her side on the most important day of her life. But something about her friend's recent behavior unsettled Grace. She had brushed it off as nerves, thinking it was normal for emotions to run high during such important moments. Little did she know, the next day would change. The video you just watched was generated with my Android smartphone. Yes, starting from generating your script, image generation, getting your prompt and everything was done with my smartphone and in this video guys i'm going to give you guys a total breakdown on how i was able to get that done so please if you are new subscribe to my channel turn on notification sign and please like first step to take is to open your chrome browser using any chrome browser you are actually familiar with so for me i always work with chrome so i've opened my chrome once you open your chrome you open your chat GPT, you know how to do that. So I see no point showing you how to open your chat GPT. So once you open your chat GPT, guys. So now as you can see, I've opened my chat GPT and I've generated what my African folk tale story already. The story, the video that I watched was actually the story I generated yesterday using my Android smartphone. And here is the prompt I gave ChatGPT. So if you should look closely here, I told ChatGPT to do what? Write a compelling bed, bed night African story using English names. The story is about a lady who was due for marriage. On her wedding day, the man who was supposed to be her husband was stolen by her best friend, leaving her confused about what is happening. She went for a native doctor who narrated everything to her. The story should detail her individual relationships with the stony husband and how she fell in love with the new man and how she eventually found the right man. Then in the end, they got married and lived happily ever. The story should span into 100 chapters with each chapter containing at least two paragraphs with 250 words count. Then at the end, I was like, full story. Good, then after that, I sent in this command to chat gpt and chat gpt came up with this for me then as you can see the part is what the title is what the part of grace do you understand then as you can see i was able to generate all this script for me then after this i told chat gpt to continue like if you still want chat gpt to generate more of the story for you this is the command you need to give chat gpt this is the command you need to give chat gpt so watch here and see what i told chat gpt to do if the first one that chat gpt generated is not enough so this is what i told chat gpt continue generating and don't repeat chapters make each make each chapters with two hundred words count can you see then as you can see before we stopped at chapter chat gpt stopped at chapter seven if i'm not mistaken then continuing it continue with chapter eight so this is chapter eight nine then it was able to get me to chapter 13 then i did the same thing then i was not like after everything has been generated because normally removing the script and removing the the chapters I did the removing of the chapters myself using my my system like I copied the script then paste it on MS Word and I removed the chapters but my next tutorial video which I will show you how you can actually ask ChatGPT to remove chapters then after I have done that now next thing I did was to convert my the next thing I did was to convert this script towards to human like voice and this is the website i use and i recommend you use this website the reason you should use this website is because one you can generate more than six thousand words at once the rest of the website can actually give the highest one thousand words then ask you to pay for premium version so you can't be able to generate more than ten thousand words at once but this particular website is for free you can generate a lot of words at a given time and this is how i did that guys so come to your chrome browser now so once you come to your chrome browser next thing you need to click here is just click your clip chap this is it clip chap so once you click your click chap you click on this first link you are seeing here take note of the logo of that this thing so you click on this first link you are seeing here that says well, click what sharp good so once you open your clip chap
so once you open this is how it will look like so all you need to do is just to click on this sign in here if you are just starting new you click on what sign in or sign up so let me first click on try for free so once i click try for free let's see the next page it will land us to guys and at this point i'm begging you if you've not subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe like this video drop your comment and share this video it is very very important now i have good so after you've signed in this is how everything will look like so all you need to do is to click on what test to speech if you are not seeing it look clearly on my screen here so you click on this part that says what test to speech please follow me and if you don't understand anything do where to drop your comment on the comment section definitely i will answer you there so this is it test to speech are you seeing it good so once you click on this test to speech automatically it will take you to another page then once you go to that page you need to click something but let's decide patient guys i am begging you to subscribe please if you are new good now this is where it gets you to the next thing you need to click is still to click on this text to speech again you need to click on this last one that says what well, text to speech where the arrow is actually pointing that is where you need to click guys so look at it let me zoom it so you see it you see that good so once you click here that is the end now you are fully into the surface of you converting your what your script to human like voice or to ai voice over but a quick one please as you can see closely here you cannot actually use this website is used for many things one you can use it for what screen and camera that's one for recording Two, you can use it for camera then three you can use it for scream like on scream stuff if you are talking then you'll be screaming yourself then you can use it to record audio voice are you seeing what i'm doing then lastly you can use it for what text to speech something which is what i'm going to show you here good now this place you are seeing here is where you need to paste what this is where sorry this is where this is where you need to paste what your script the title sorry the script of the story so this is where you need to paste it so for me to paste it now all i need to do is just to go copy it and then bring it in here guys so this is how i will do that now here is the script after i have removed the chapters can you see this is the script of the story after i have removed the chapters so all i need to do is just to copy it and in case you want to know the app that i used here i use wps to edit my typing work most of the times on my phone if my system is down do you understand so let me now just copy this so this is me copying now now you see so after you've copied this now good let me see if i can copy this too let me copy the second chapter so like this now i'm working with two chapters at a spot you see that then after that you copy good then go back to this website can you see so once you come to this part now you click here then you paste it can you see the scripts are all here now and now look max zoom on this is the reason i love and i recommend this website to everyone the maximum is what 7650 characters then look i'm still having 1350 remaining so that is to tell you that i can still add more text to here but this is okay by me now next i need to do is just to come over to this part that says what english united states english into bracket united states another feature of this website that i love is it gives you privilege or can i say you are free to select english nigeria so this is english into bracket united states so all i have to do is just to click on that part that says english into bracket united states then i have to select the part that says what english into bracket nigeria can you see what this stuff simply means is this your accent the accent that this ai2 we use or we used to read your script will be nigerian accent english do you understand that is what that will make it so real that people will think that you are actually using your right voice and this is why i recommend you to use this honestly speaking i have not actually seen a website 
that is far better than this website one it gives you chance to generate a lot a longer what um script then secondly you can actually use nigeria english here guys so let's select this part so as you can see it has changed then here that says is in there you only have two options a male voice and a female voice and as you can see on that story i used a male voice but let me use a female voice here so i'll be selecting this female voice then after you've selected the female voice you click on this advanced settings click on this advanced settings can you see good so once you click on the advanced settings now you will be seeing more options then what this stuff simply means is the speed at which the ai2 will be reading the story do you understand then for a clearer understanding you click on default you make it high then after you make it high then this part that says peace i'll be pass this part that says pass this is that part and this place now that is here you have to drag it backwards at least to lower the speed of the reading so that my audience or your audience watching this story we actually understand and hear the words that this stuff is actually pronouncing can you see i have reduced it perfect then after that now just let it be like this just let it be like this then all you need to do is just to go down once you go down you have the options that says what save and preview so you first click on save to save the settings that you've selected above there guys so let's exercise a bit patient for this our settings to be saved very very well now as you can see it has been saved can you see so the saved button is now faint that is to tell you that we have successfully saved this look at the save button is now faint so the next step we need to take is to click on preview and what this preview works is what it will play this stuff it will play this stuff for you then you will hear and see how it sounds then if you are okay with it you can go ahead and export it guys so this is it so i have to click on preview so as you can see it's already taking part the preview is taking part so let's exercise a bit patient so we can actually hear this out guys now the preview has been done so all i need to do is just to click this play button that is here i don't know if you are seeing it but let me zoom it in so you can see so after you've saved and preview you click on this save button here the night before grace's wedding the stars twinkled in the african sky reflecting the joy in her heart she sat under the old baobab tree feeling the cool evening breeze brush against her skin her mind was filled with thoughts of James, the man she had loved for as long as she could remember. Tomorrow, they would finally be husband and wife after years of dreaming and planning. Grace smiled as she recalled how they met. James was kind. The night before Grace's... Now guys, can you hear that? That sounds very cool, perfect and clean, right? Good. Then after this now, this is what you need to do. If you should take a close range here, just take a close look here. As you can see, the the script that we converted, the duration, the length of the script is what? It's 7 minutes, 56 seconds. 7 minutes 56 let's say almost 8 minutes can you see there is no website that can actually give you this long word converter without you subscribing for the premium version do you understand so please if you are a new beginner on youtube um, and you are into african folktale channels this website is the best website you can actually use to convert your script to ai voice or human like voice good then after this now this is the next thing we need to do the next thing we need to do is just to hit on this export button that is above here guys you see that that is here so all you need to do is just to click on this export button then you choose this 720p so once you click on this 720p automatically it will start exporting by himself without you pressing anything the the exporting will start automatically so all i have to do is just come here and rename it so you can actually know what you are downloading do you understand so this is what i will do i will just have to click here Guys, is already exporting so all i have to do is just to click here then i have to rename it so i can understand or know this particular file after downloading it from here so i'll be like new folk tales or new story let me just use new story 
the new story one because this is how you can actually go about until you are done generating the whole script converting the whole script to woman like voice so this is story one then you excite patient for this to get to 100 so once it gets to 100 automatically it will be downloaded and saved to your what to your phone so let's excite patient and wait guys so as you can see our script converter is already set so let's exercise patient guys good we have automatically converted now as you can see after converted automatically it will start downloading can you see it is downloaded then if you should play this stuff now this plus this the night before grace's wedding the stars twinkled in the African sky. If Good. Do you know why this stuff is like this? It's because this stuff is in MP4 convert. Do you understand? So for us to convert it from MP4 to MP3, this is what we need to do. So come to this part here. Then you search for MP4 converter. Just come here and search for MP4. Okay, I have it here already. So this is, okay, no, it's not here. So just come here and search for MP4 converter. Can you see MP4 converter to MP3? So this is it. You click on the first one. Then once you click on this first one, click on this part that says shoes files. Click here that says shoes files. So once you click, click from device. Then click media picker. Now, do you see why I say this stuff is MP4 converter? Can you see? If you should look closely now, this is MP4 video. So you click on it. This is the one I want to convert. So once you click on it, the file automatically will load here. So after loading now, this is the file. Then after this, now all you need to do is just to click on converter. Can you see? Output should be MP3. Do you understand? Now it is loading. Can you see? Uploading. So let's wait till it gets to 100% before it can be automatically loaded and then after that it will start converting it from mp4 to mp3 so please let's stay tuned and watch this video from very start to the end guys subscribe if you are new to this channel and turn on your notification bell sign so you always get notified whenever what i drop a new tutorial video now it is converting can you see before it was uploaded now it's converting so let's extract patient after the converting we download it it has been converted that is done so from mp3 now we've converted it to mp from mp4 we've converted it to mp3 then click here to download can you see it has been downloaded now so now we are having mp3 instead of mp4 so let me open it You see it so play the night before grace's wedding the stars twinkled in the african sky reflecting the joy in her heart just how you can actually generate a voiceover for your african folktale script convert the voiceover from mp4 to mp3 and that is it guys that is it guys so thank you for watching this great length i really do appreciate and i knew very well that i'm actually proving that doubt that you can actually generate african folk text stories using your android smartphone thank you and please see you guys on my next tutorial i love you all